around the track. I just guess in general racing in that era was somewhere somewhat new to the area and of course it was a challenge to start a business in racing. Luckily it worked out. People came from all parts of the state. Many of the drivers were local men. My father Roland Hader was I guess an avid businessman and not afraid to take chances. Bill Johnson Sr. was a partner when they first started out. Later on, um, oh and Bill was also sheriff of Washington County. <clears throat> After a few years I, I believe my dad bought Bill, Bill's half and ran, from, ran the track by himself. He went on to build another quarter mile track inside of the half mile horse racing track in Plymouth, Wisconsin and also won at Oakfield, Wisconsin. My dad was kind of known to have a temper, but it not, he was not always like that. Of course, he was a good dad. When, when the racing first started, I was small, so um, probably four or five years old. I don't remember too much of that time. Life was busy on summer weekends, that's for sure. Saturday nights at Oakfield, Sunday afternoon at Plymouth, and Sunday night at Slinger. When I was probably six to eight years old, I sometimes just hung out with some of the driver's kids. But in my teen years, and later I helped in the concession stands, and really never got to see the races. favorite things I guess I always remember is Miles Milius. He lived, <clears throat> him and his family lived next to or next door to us near the racetrack um, for a long time. I remember him winning mostly because we were good friends and we're proud that he was such a great driver. I spent a lot of time with his children playing. A lot of my job was working in the concessions Starting in 1958 and probably into the 70s, I ran concession stands. Most Saturdays were spent with a good friend making 60 to 80 pounds of barbecue. So it was always a lot of work, but it was fun also. I loved growing up here. I married a great guy from Hartford, Carmen Christman, in 1960. He also worked at the Speedway in the pit area and wherever help was needed. We moved away in 1950. 94, and I'm very happy to be back here. I remember always looking for money after the races, sometimes during. Um, after the races, we'd take flashlights and go swish our feet around in the dirt and find money, and when you could run across them, it was pretty cool. Robbie Reiser was a year younger than me and he was started out racing there and that was always fun that all of us friends would hang out and, and cheer him on and I actually still have the Robbie Reiser racing jacket still. I think it's an antique now. Um, yeah on Sunday afternoons I mean we had to go to the racetrack and unload the candies and the, everything because you couldn't keep any of that stuff there so that was always stored at home. I can actually picture my little brother walking around on the track with Grandpa. It was a pretty big thing when they changed it from the, the dirt to the asphalt. My younger memories, I was pretty young, pretty much, are just going to the track on the go-karts and the pedal bikes, going around the racetrack, and then um, there was a dump in the back. We used to go back there and scatter through the dump, picking up aluminum cans and tournament for money. Um, he was a hunter, fisherman, um, an entrepreneur, hardworking and dedicated. It seemed like um, we spent a lot of time together fishing and hunting. Uh, it influenced me in a big way because I guess just after high school I started helping a local driver um, in the late mile series <clears throat> and he, he raced there and got Kakana for a pretty much for a living and I thought that was pretty neat. 
and then I so I, I helped him nights and weekends we raced at Swinger every Sunday in Kakana every Thursday night and then from there I met people and realized that you could make a living doing this and I had a real passion for the geometry and the fabrication and the engines and everything that was involved in racing and one thing led to the next and I got a full-time job in racing in the ASA series and we ran 60 some races a, a year and then from there I just kept meeting people I met Jimmy Johnson Ricky Johnson and Jimmy got me in down to Hendrick and worked on there for five years and just uh, so to answer your question that's how it progressed me because you could realize there was a actual career in motorsports racing.